ESG factors are not actually new. What has changed is that the awareness for these factors and their impact on business continuity as well as the risk has increased. One of the drivers of this awareness is the corporate failures that took place during the economic crisis, as well as the evidence and the growing evidence of the increased interconnectedness of the impact the climate deterioration has on business operations as well as the performance, the financial performance of companies. There is a great wealth shift that will be taking place to the millennials. And when we think about what's going to happen for the future of finance, the millennials actually care a lot about the personal value they derive from what their money is being invested towards. So for companies to be attractive and be considered by these millennials, as well as ensure the flow of capital to their, to their investments, they need to ensure that they are offering the holders of the money and these investors with what they value in addition to the financial returns. Considering the, the desire of investors to be evaluating and incorporating the ESG factors into the investment process will make companies consider are they actually offering something of value. When they come to disclose this information, what is it that they are communicating about the way they are running their business? Are they considering the environment which they are part of it? Are they managing the money that the investors have entrusted those companies in a way that is deriving value to them and yet being fiduciary responsible for those investments? The integration of ESG into the investment process is not a substitute to the way the traditional fundamental analysis is undertaken. In fact, it's a complementary one that will be ensuring a bigger comprehensive picture is provided, not only on the quantitative information which investors are used to evaluating, but also in terms of the non-financial qualitative data which are going to be included as well in the investment process. The COVID-19 pandemic that took place, it actually put the companies in a position, whether they were ready or not, they had to transform their business. Business continuity plans that many companies have been preparing for, disaster recovery procedures that many companies have been prepared for, all of them were put for the ultimate test when this happened. Nobody was ready that they would be expecting work to be taking place from home. The change in the mindset and the adaptation that were imposed on these companies was the ultimate test of how sustainable these companies are operating. Part of this includes the, the, the strength of the governance structure of these companies that they were able to quickly respond to the desired changes. As ESG reporting increases, the understanding increases the understanding of both the companies as well as the investors. From companies' perspectives, they will get to see how the data that they are reporting is actually affecting their stock prices. And the more they understand how investors are using those data to do the financial valuation, the more they will be thinking about what kind of products and services they need to offer to maximize their value and to ensure that they remain attractive for capital. In terms of the investors, the more they see this kind of information, the more they will start thinking about what more they would like to see, what factors matter to them the most. And when they understand that and build more comprehensive understanding, they can see a more complete picture of what they are putting their money into. When they get that understanding and they make such decisions about what is got, where their money is flowing, they are actually empowering the businesses that are offering value to the greater community. That's why the companies who are stakeholder centric and they focus on delivering value not only to the shareholders, but to the greater community around them are the ones that are expected to see more attraction of capital.